Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In this week's episode I want to talk about command pattern in TypeScript. So design patterns are very important to know so that's why I also create some videos around design patterns. So in object oriented programming the command pattern is a behavioral design pattern in which an object is used to encapsulate all information needed to perform an action or use for. So we start with an interface, which is command, of course, because it's the command pattern, and you have a method execute that executes what you want to do, right? So then we can create a command. So in this case, we create a payload command. I'm also going to export it. Doesn't matter, but okay. And then here we have a payload. And when we do execute, it says payload do small, uh, simple things like printing with this payload, right? So this is a very simple example of a command. So another command could be the mod command, right? Where we have a multiplier, which has a receiver. And we have two data points, an A and a B. And then in the constructor, we can provide them. And then, of course, we can execute it. And we can say to the receiver, do something with two numbers, right? But of course, you can do a lot of mathematical stuff, right? So what we could do right here is having an interface with math methods. Then here, we can say that uh, we implement math methods right and then of course instead of accepting here a multiplier we have math methods and right here we have also math methods right and then you see here why the receiver is a very powerful thing right we have two numbers and with these two numbers we can do mathematical things and by just defining them within Math methods, we can very easily abstract them away from our command and just adding them to our command very easily. Right. Alright, so the next step is creating an invoker. So in this regard, I just want to have a simple invoker, but you can very easily create whatever invoker that you want, right? In this regard, I want to have an invoker where I can add commands and then I can execute them all. But of course, maybe you want to check certain types and then maybe reorder these commands because some commands are more important to execute them first than other commands and so on. Well, you can create an invoker like you want, right? So now I can create a const invoker. It's equal to a new invoker, right? I can add some commands. I can do something like this and then do something here like and for example and then of course i want to invoke them by doing execute all i also created a minus so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use that Yeah, why not? A bit like this. And then, of course, I want to run this program, right? So I hope you all understand how this works. So an invoker will execute command 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. And the greatest thing around this is also that you can, for example, save these commands somewhere and then execute them accordingly, right? by maybe giving them um, a symbol or yeah having some factory uh, class right which will then pick the right command and then having the right um, parameters to go further with it right all right so now i'm gonna run it and then you see here payload do simple things like printing say hi wave and then here complex command complex stuff should be done by receiver object then we have here our result 12 and then the complex command which has another receiver object and the result is minus one right 
and of course do simple things like printing and then we have an end that's been printed so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you understand what the command pattern is and that you can use it within typescript but also within another programming language if you like Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel, make some noise about my channel, it will help me a lot. Bye!